<laughs> Hi guys! So welcome back to my channel. I thought it would be a great topic to talk about my gap. Yeah, I went to the orthodontist today and it kind of just came down to where I kind of need braces. <laughs> I've actually needed braces since I was in the sixth grade. I'm kind of out of college now, so it's um, it's been a while. I'm getting braces now because I can actually afford it now. Why I didn't get it before was because my parents couldn't afford it. I'm sorry, I'm like super close to the camera. Honestly, I don't have an issue with my gaps. I mean, I've had it all my life, so it's something that I, you know, I guess I gotta, you just get used to your face. You see it all the time. When I was younger, I kind of just embraced it. Um, I wasn't really made fun of like that. I mean, people would make comments here and there, but it was never anything crazy like bullying or um, like someone constantly teasing me about my teeth. Um, I actually get a lot of compliments, like a lot of people saying that they like my smile and that they think that, you know, it's really nice that I embrace it. It is an insecurity, I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes I kind of cover my mouth. I find myself that in a lot of pictures, I'm usually just smiling like this, instead of smiling like this. I went to my orthodontist today. I had made an appointment because um, I actually have been doing research like crazy whether to get my metal braces or whether to get Invisalign. That was one of the one of the biggest choices I actually had to make. Um, there were a lot of deciding factors. One of the main factors was the fact that I have an overbite. So um, if I chat down, you can kind of see that my top teeth cover my bottom teeth pretty well. One of my concerns was that if I did get um, my metal braces was that with metal braces on the bottom my top teeth wouldn't, it would kind of collide um, and it wouldn't really be comfortable for me. So I did my research and you know I talked to a lot of different dentists and orthodontists and things like that and I found out that if I were to get the metal braces on the top and the bottom at the same time that I would need bumpers on these back of my teeth up here so they won't touch the metal braces on the bottom um, and I would also need bumpers on the back molars so my bite won't completely close down on my teeth which I thought about and basically I wouldn't be able to chomp down on my food if that makes any sense so I kind of decided not I mean I looked more into it and I didn't really want to sit there for a good, not sit there, but um, for 20 months, I didn't want to have metal braces in my mouth and not be able to actually close my mouth, which was one of the things that really concerned me. I wouldn't be able to eat properly um, or like eat solid foods. I would have to break everything down. Did not want to deal with that. Then I started looking into Invisalign, which, you know, a lot of people had said, you know, it's clear and it works, you know, as just as well as braces. I know a lot of people are saying like, oh, they're not really sure of if Invisalign is as efficient, but you know, there's many different stories out there. And first I had to find out if I actually qualified for Invisalign. So I went to do that and they approved me, which was great because my insurance improved my Invisalign, which was awesome. They didn't cover the whole payment of Invisalign. They only covered part of it, which actually was a very big part. So I, you know, didn't even mine that it didn't cover all of it which you know it's a th aesthetics it's technically why you're paying a lot more than braces it's just the convenience feature of it so i was told you know that invisalign would work better um for me just because of that, that was one of my main concerns about the braces and me not being able to close my mouth when i went to the orthodontist today you know he kind of did a rundown of what would happen to my what would happen in my mouth we did the plaques so basically they did a whole bunch of x-rays of my mouth they took pictures of my mouth they wanted to see if anything had changed in the last nine months because i actually went nine months prior to see if i qualified for invisalign and i finally made my decision so I did choose Invisalign. He took, you know, the x-rays and they did the, took, took the pictures and then what they did is they sat me down and they actually took this mold. Um, it's kind of like a clay thing. It was like two different colors, blue and like white. They molded it together. They put it on this like tray that had like, I guess like the teeth impression on it and they made you bite down on it. So they did it on the bottom and they did it on the top and that's what they're sending out to Invisalign 
for them to do my molds and to basically figure out how to correct my teeth. It's gonna take about three to four weeks for my trays to come in. So I'm actually really, really excited. Like, I can't believe this is actually happening. A lot of people don't know it's happening just because a lot of people are like, oh, well, there's nothing wrong with your smile. And honestly, I don't have a problem with my gaps, like I had said earlier. I don't have a problem with my gaps, but the reason why I feel like I need them is because my bite is very uncomfortable. When you have gaps throughout your teeth, it's really hard to bite on certain things. For example, toasted bread is really hard for me to bite on, um, especially like if it's a sandwich. But they're really hard to bite on because of my gaps. So when I bite into one, I have to be very careful because it can cut up my gums on the outside up here and on the bottom and it can also cut that down there and um, my roof of my mouth which is very uncomfortable and I don't think any of you guys would want to eat that way either so that was one of the three main reasons why I wanted braces and also now that I'm older because my jaw is kind of already formed and it's not going to be moving I'm getting a lot of pressure on my jaw and my jaw actually is popping um, I know, it's weird, right? I don't know if you can hear that. Yeah. So it does that, which is not supposed to happen. That is because of my misalignment of my jaw, basically. My jaw is kind of out of place because of the way that my teeth are in my mouth. So that's what's going to help with, the braces are going to help with that. So that's what I'm excited for too. Um, those, those are the main reasons why I'm getting braces. Not to get rid of my gap, which I know a lot of people are like, ah, oh, you know. It's not to get rid of my gap. It's a bonus that my gap will be closed and you know that's awesome, but my main reason is are my concerns are just, you know, being able to eat correctly. That uh, and being able to just stop that jaw popping thing um, because it's causing a lot of pressure on my mouth. It's making my making me grind my teeth at night. I don't know if any of you guys do that, but it's making me grind my teeth at night, so I wake up with a lot of pressure on like the sides of my mouth. Um, so my treatment, um, what they did say is, you know, it can it can change, but for right now, it's going to be 15 months, so which is awesome. It's going to be a year and a few months. Um, so depending on how fast my teeth move, it can be more or less. After that, I will probably, he mentioned, I might need permanent retainers for these top four teeth here, which will basically, they'll put on the back of my mouth and but I also have like retainers to sleep at night. He did mention that these, I don't know if you can see them, so these four teeth here are actually very oddly shaped. Um, I never noticed. I don't know, can you guys tell? Supposedly, they are oddly shaped and they're not, that's not actually how they're supposed to be. An orthodontist said is that everybody's mouth is kind of like a box. So it's supposed to be kind of like a square, which I never knew that. Um, and my mouth, what the way it is, it kind of sits like a very, like a circle, like an oval. So my teeth are very ovally shaped. And so they're going to have to bring them out and back, which is, sounds very painful. But um, so he's not sure if this gap here and this gap here will be able to close all the way because of the way that my teeth are set up and the way my mouth is. And honestly, that's, I mean, not, I don't have a problem with that as long as it closes, as, as long as my teeth don't look all straight and all closed up and then I have just two giant gaps there, then that, that's going to be a problem. But for right now, you know, he said we're going to work with it and see how it goes and then we figure out the next step. So in four weeks, I will probably be putting in my first trays. It's so exciting, you don't understand. I've waited so long. I will update you guys on how it goes, how it feels, you know. If you guys want to know more questions or if you have any questions that you would like to ask me about my teeth or about my experience and what kind of research I did and, you know, what I found out and stuff like that, you can just comment below and I'll definitely answer my best, um, the best way I can. Yeah, so four weeks. And in four weeks, I will be putting... I mean, I'm a little nervous, to be honest. I don't know how it's going to work because I have really big gaps. These teeth, actually, used to be very straight when I was younger. And because when my mouth kind of 
formed and opened up, uh, they started they started separating. So that kind of sucks. Yeah, this is. So yeah, subscribe. Um, thumbs up if you really liked this video and you thought that it was very informative or just not. You know, I don't know. Yeah, definitely comment your questions or or any comments that you guys have, and I'll get back to you. Bye.